Hello. With the autumn equinox approaching, during the next 10 days, nights will become longer than days, and it will certainly feel rather autumnal at times. At the start of next week, we've even got northerly winds, which will bring a chill across the UK. But before we get there, let's rewind to the next couple of days. And you can see a couple of cold fronts on the charts, one moving south during Thursday. Ahead of that, actually, still uh, something a little more summery, I think, in the south and southeast. Some warm sunshine, 21 to 23 Celsius, after any mist and fog in the morning clears away, that is. But there is some rain moving south across northern England, north and west Wales during Thursday afternoon. A keen breeze, quite a gusty wind accompanying that rain. It clears Scotland and Northern Ireland during the day. Brighter skies here with one or two showers and a fresher feel. Now, if we follow that rain band south, it does slow down a little. There's a little frontal wave a feature that enhances the rain, but also slows it down for a time during Thursday night into the start of Friday. And then by Friday afternoon, well, it breaks up into showers and there could certainly be some heavy showers in the southeast. Scattered showers elsewhere across the UK as well, but interspersed by bright skies, sunny spells and temperatures down a notch compared to the uh, last couple of days with high teens, uh, perhaps 20 degrees, but otherwise uh, those temperatures not far from average for the time of year. Eventually the cold front moves away, but uh, a little buckle on it could bring some showers again on Saturday to the southeast. And a few more showers will affect eastern parts of England and perhaps one or two down western shores as well. But all in all, the start of the weekend is looking drier and brighter as high pressure extends its influence, this ridge coming in from the west, but not particularly warm because we've got this northwesterly airflow. Now, if we push forward to Sunday, and you'll see that quite a deep area of low pressure near Iceland will push into the Norwegian Sea, and the isobars tighten up, especially across the northern half of the UK, with the risk of gales for the far north of Scotland later Sunday, and some heavy rain pushes in the south. But actually, for much of the day on Sunday, it's dry and bright further south before that rain arrives. Now, the reason these fronts are pushing south across the UK, introducing eventually colder air, is because of a blast of warmth on the other side of the Atlantic. Now, a couple of areas of low pressure, one moving north through uh, Newfoundland on Friday, and then this other low, which is an ex-hurricane, ex-hurricane Fiona by this stage, both of which will be pushing this warmth northwards. And that helps to build a large area of high pressure in the mid-Atlantic, which in turn helps to push cold air south over the UK so that by the start of next week this active band of rain is moving south across the southern parts of the country along with gusty winds and then we're into this cold plunge most likely the coldest air of the season so far and uh, it's certainly going to feel cold first thing with a touch of frost in places in the north and uh, chilly wind. But uh, looking at the temperature trend, you can see that temperatures are dipping below average for the start of next week for both the south, which is this chart here, and the north, which is this chart here. And uh, what you can see here are the overnight temperatures, the blue boxes, and the daytime temperatures, the red boxes for both the south and the north. The reds and blue lines are the averages for both uh, daytime and nighttime. And the boxes here, well, they're a little above average for the next couple of days. Then they dip below that average line, reaching a nadir on Tuesday as those northerly winds kick in across the UK. But some recovery then later next week and into the following weekend. More on that in a moment. However, as you can see, widely across the UK then, temperatures are going to be below average for the second half of the weekend and into Monday as well as Tuesday. Cold enough in places, those temperatures dipping to around the mid to low single figure, so cold enough for a touch of frost, I think in some sheltered spots, there'll be an air frost at the start of next week. And cold enough for some snow, but let's not get too excited about it because it's really going to be over the tops of the Scottish mountains and there's nothing particularly unusual about that at this time of year. But there will be some showers about this high pressure in the west. This is the most likely weather pattern between Monday and Wednesday of next week. High pressure to the west and a northerly wind bringing showers uh, to many parts of the UK, particularly the north and the east where there could be some heavy showers and like I say, some sleet and snow over the tops of the Scottish mountains rain and hail elsewhere, but away from the showers, 
some bright skies, some sunshine in a northerly airflow, you often get quite bright conditions, quite a clear air mass. But it will be feeling cold. Uh, overnight temperatures will be relatively low and daytime temperatures will be suppressed in that northerly wind. However, later next week, it looks likely that those temperatures will be recovering. This is a uh, midpoint of the UK. And again, you've got the temperature trend here showing those red boxes and the blue boxes returning to their average lines for later next week. And what looks most likely to happen after that north to northwesterly airflow around the start of next week is for the wind direction to change back to westerly or southwesterly. And that's shown by this graphic here. The little triangles here indicate the most likely wind direction. And for the start of next week, it's, as you can see, coming from the northwest. And then that wind direction changes to westerly or even by the end of next week, start of October, southwesterly and hence the recovery in temperatures back to around average. This is a graph showing the wind speed and there's the average line and as you can see the wind speed will be a bit above average for the time of year as that northerly wind arrives and then perhaps a bit above average again for the start of October. So although there's quite a bit of uncertainty actually about the kinds of weather patterns that we'll see following the northwesterlies of uh, the start of next week. It looks likely that at the end of next week and into the start of next weekend, we'll see westerlies or southwesterlies. It will be fairly unsettled, but there'll be some drier and brighter interludes at times as well, but also some rain, the heaviest of which is likely to be in the west. So fairly autumnal weather at times during the next 10 days.